When we resist a challenge, challenges become stressful. When we love a good challenge, challenges are peaceful. We could say, ugh, I hate this boss. Or we can say, this boss and overcoming my dislike for him is going to help me develop an inner strength I didn't know I even had. I will be able to handle any human being because the universe showed me this boss to find a way to deal with. Every moment is a blessing. Every person is a teacher. There are two main reasons for that work stress feeling we get, where that blood just starts to boil, we think we're going to lose our mind, a lot's riding on everything we do because it is our livelihood, it is how we provide for ourselves and our family, it is essentially survival. And those two reasons that we internalize that pressure and that we allow ourselves to take it on and then we put added pressure onto ourselves is really two reasons. The first is that to deal with the stress, we usually do something that puts more stress on ourselves, on our mind and our body. We drink heavily, we smoke, we eat terrible foods, we skip the gym, <laughs> we make all the wrong choices, we stay up too late binge watching shows, whatever it is, it tends to put so much stress on our bodies. It disrupts our sleep. And so stress is both physical and psychological. It is not just mental. When it's in the body, we usually call it as tension or tightness, but it is the same mechanism. It is caused by the mind. It is resistance to what is happening. It is not allowing our mind and bodies the resources to heal, to relax, to be at peace. Our body has two modes of operating, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. And one is the stress system, and the other is the rest and recovery system. And we are in a almost constant state of stress. We see the news about the economy going down or about job losses going up. And even though nothing changed in our lives, we start to feel immense pressure, worry, and stress. So instead of going to a bottle, food, our favorite show, which ends up keeping us up all night, we need to tap in more to those truly rest and recovery activities. Our meditation, yoga and exercise, eating nutritious foods that nourish us, sticking to that good sleep time, shutting off devices, all of those things that we all know we're supposed to do, but we don't do enough of because we just need immediate relief. And that is a very real thing. And so the second thing we need to do is we need to pay attention to how we are the cause of that stress. We unconsciously choose to take on that external stressor and to keep it in our body and mind. We choose unconsciously to focus on our worries, to focus on and believe those negative stories our mind is telling us. 
and we react with stress. So we need to unlearn that stress response and we need to discover that mindset which recognizes the higher wisdom inside of us, what our higher, highest self would tell us, which is that worry does not help, that stress prevents our success. And all we have to do is look around and we will notice that there are people who are very relaxed in life, who nothing affects them. And some people are born with it. Some people have parents who teach it, either by example or with their words and stories. But for most of us, myself included, (laughs) we need to unlearn that stress response and to relearn and develop a way to look at the world through a peaceful lens. And we can all do this. We can all let go. We may be wound up tight like a kite string, but we can let that kite go and let that string unravel and we can loosen up we can unwind and we can have a proverbial raincoat on us at all times that deflects all of the water and the rain and the storms of chaos around us at all times. And we can truly protect our inner peace when we stop giving way to the random thoughts that pop into our mind because this is truly where the stress lives. We want to blame the boss and he might be a terrible boss, but we don't have to stress. We want to blame the coworker who's trying to take our job and get us fired, but that doesn't need to be stressful. We can do it with joy. We all see that the people who seem to succeed the most and not let stress get to them, they have a mindset where they love the fight. They love the grind. They get excited at implementing a great business idea. And they get excited for all of that hard work that's going to come along with it. And so when we start to pay attention to the mind, we'll notice the negative story. And as we notice that negative story, we can turn it in to the most beneficial story for ourselves. Not only for ourselves, but for the company, for our families, for our work itself. And when we truly believe it, when we wholeheartedly dive into this conscious, intentional, positive thinking where we no longer try to avoid inevitable stress, but we jump at the chance to dive in headfirst into that stress storm. Then it washes off of us like we are a Teflon pan (laughs) and we are diving through that water like Michael Phelps and the water is parting before us and we are just gliding through that murky stress but it is not sticking to us and we do this through recognizing the thoughts creating the most beneficial story to tell ourselves to believe about ourselves and about our situations. Whatever pops into your mind is true to you. It doesn't mean that because we are choosing the most beneficial, positive story, that we are deluding ourselves. 
every single situation that happens has a good and a bad component to it. We are simply choosing to face the positive, to run into that storm that is coming for us anyway with enthusiasm instead of fear. And this is really what all of the best business leaders do. And it doesn't just have to be for certain people who seem gifted at it. We can all create our reality. We can all choose to believe that our job is stressful or our job is not stressful. Some people hate everywhere they go. They hate every job they've ever had. They're never happy. They're always stressed. They're always miserable. And other people love every place they go, even the exact same places as the other guy. And they love every moment of life. We can all develop this skill to love all the situations we're in. We can still change jobs. We can still move cities. We can still move houses. But we won't be running away from anything. We'll always be running towards the next best thing. Instead of away from something bad, it just goes from great to great. When we resist a challenge, challenges become stressful. When we love a good challenge, challenges are peaceful. We could say, ugh, I hate this boss. Or we can say, this boss and overcoming my dislike for him is going to help me develop an inner strength I didn't know I even had. I will be able to handle any human being because the universe showed me this boss to find a way to deal with. Every moment is a blessing. Every person is a teacher. It is only when we want that perfect boss all the time that we will always be frustrated. Sometimes when we're at work, we would love to scream at our boss <laughs> or be able to go to a park or take a shower or lie down. And none of these things are great options. So when we are feeling that stress rising up, we feel that we are going to lose it. Our mind is just going a million miles a minute and we are getting so pushed to our limits. This is when, as hard as it is, we have to recognize that we are the source of that stress. We are always the source. And when that blood gets boiling, that is when we have to remember this. And as soon as we remember that no one else can stress us out, that just like a crazy person on the street may be yelling about a unicorn that's about to attack me, I don't get stressed. <laughs> and similarly, just because someone is saying something or doing something or our job, for some reason, our mind is saying it is unbearable. It is always the mind and where we put our focus that causes that stress. So when we just remember that we are the cause of stress, all stress, there are stressful situations happening around us at all times. I could be stressed every second of the day if every moment I was focused on some problem in the world. And 
let it stress me out. We all have an excuse to be stressed. We also all have the chance to relax. So by recognizing this truth, that the mind creates all stress, and stressful situations happen around us and on this planet as a daily occurrence, we can start to stop wanting the situation to end, and we can start wanting what is happening. We can choose to live in a story that serves us. And what serves us is providing for our families. The opportunity to provide a service to society. And if you're getting paid for something, that means you are providing value to society. So yes, there may be challenges, but you are a superhero. You are overcoming great obstacles to literally save the day for you and your family. This is a wonderful thing. Superman wasn't great because of his powers. He could have been a supervillain. He was great because he didn't lose his temper. He stayed controlled. He stayed in control. And he acted without anger or stress. He never let his immense powers overtake him through immense emotions. And we all have that power, not the superpowers, <laughs> but we all have the power to step up to the plate every day of our lives for ourselves and our families and to play that game that we have to play to the best of our abilities. And that is the story. Not, my life sucks. I'm so unfair to have this boss. Life's so unfair. We can still change our job. We can still job hunt. But the next job, the boss could be worse. There is no guarantee of any situation being better just different. And that's really all life is, is everything is just different. The good and the bad is the mental story. And we can live in a good story. We all have that ability.